Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I went through to fix the connectivity issues I was having with my Wi-Fi on my laptop. So I couldn't find a whole lot of information on trying to fix the specific issue I had, which was I was connected to the internet and sometimes I'd get a really bad connection. Sometimes it would be okay and usually it was somewhere in between that range where I could actually browse the web, but it was much slower than the speeds that I should be getting. So I was able to finally figure out how to fix this problem. And if you're having the same problem, I definitely recommend trying this out. So on your laptop, find where the little battery icon is and right click it and then go down to power options. That should open up this page and then go to change plan settings. And then go down to change advanced power settings. And then that should pop up this power options screen here and go down to where it says wireless adapter settings. And then go to power save mode. And then on battery, it wasn't set to maximum performance. For me, I believe it was set to medium power savings. It was one of these other options anyways, and it wasn't on maximum performance. So change yours over to maximum performance and then click apply and then also of course make sure that your plugged in wi-fi setting is also at maximum power performance as well but then once you have both of those wireless adapter settings set to the maximum performance just click ok and now you should be in a position at least with my particular case where once i change that setting over i went from maybe getting about 10% of my Wi-Fi signal, uh, maybe half the time to getting almost 100% of it all the time. So I definitely noticed a huge jump in the responsiveness of when I was going to web pages, things downloading much more quickly and just a quality of life change. When you go onto Google and you look how to fix your different Wi-Fi settings, you're typically gonna get a lot of different things on how to troubleshoot your connection if you're not connecting at all. This is a different problem than that that I was having. It was, I was getting a fairly consistent internet connection, but it was at a much lower speed than what I should have been getting. I went in, I changed that particular setting, and since then, my internet connection has been much more stable and powerful. So thanks guys for stopping on in. I hope this video helped you with whatever issue that you were having in terms of your connectivity to your Wi-Fi on your laptop. So thanks. We hope to see you back here for future videos. Bye.